Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now this is lecture number two on the topic of statistics for O levels. Okay, and I'm discussing for, first. I discuss raw data. Now I'm doing unroot data. So we have a this is called like a points three uh, three points actually repeating seven times, four points repeating three times, and five points repeating four times. And we have to find out the mean. If I just uh, explain you what what is going on behind the scene, so three comes seven times, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No need to show examiner like this, just sake of a knowledge, understanding. So four comes three times, so one, two, three, and five <coughs> comes four times, one, two, three, four. I think this whole story. Now we we'll check is seven plus three, ten plus fourteen. And check. 7, 3, 10 plus 14, 14 numbers are there. If I ask you, this behave like a raw data. This behave like a raw data. When I can transform raw data in table form, it's called ungrouped data. This was raw data. So if I ask you what is to find the mean, so you say simply, sir, add them all, correct? But, uh, but, but for the ungrouped data, we have a special technique and that I will make one extra column, okay? And the name is called fx. Actually, this is called F and this point represent by X. I write here for you, this is represent by X, this X, okay. And this F mentioned here. So it's a very clear sense we have, we have to multiply, how come? F into X multiplies, so F and X multiply. So three sevens are 21, four threes are 12, five fours are 20. So this I'm just multiplying. Indirectly, if you look at carefully, check please, 4 comes 3 times, so 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12, and see 12. So when I'm multiplying, indirectly I am adding, I hope so clear. Similarly, please check please here, 5 plus 5, 10, plus 15, plus 20, so 20, right? So uh, what is the normal raw data? Add them all. And what I am doing, I am doing the same, same job here. So what is the formula for the mean? For mean formula, uh, this formula is sigma fx by sigma f. Actually, this sign sigma, okay, s-i-g-m-a, sigma. Sigma how it operates, it always add up. It always adds up, add up the values of the column. For example, if I say sigma f, it means add all values of f column. F column where we have here, seven, three, four. So let me write down. So when I write down here, so three, seven, three, four, seven plus three plus four, it becomes uh, 14, okay. And sigma fx, fx is here, the Z match. So add up this all values, so it's 21 plus 12 plus 20. And so here I'm getting 32, 33 and 53. Give me answer please. Okay. So how much? 3.78. 3.78. Yeah. Is that called cumulative regression? Uh, no, it is actually somehow like the same. But it's not cumulating. I'm just multiplying. I just is later, inshallah. Okay. Come back. 3.72 is what? Average. Okay. Average. 3.72 is average. Uh, normally what we do in a raw data, we just add them all and divide by the number of values. And what my, what, what is this 14? If you count them all, it's 14, right? And if you if you add them all, you get what? 53. So it means the good thing of table, this is called uh, ungrouped data, what is the benefit of this? I just multiply and no need to add up all, I think clear. Let's talk about a mode. Mode is the easiest part of the chapter. Mode is the maximum repeating number. Mm. So I think three comes seven times, three comes seven times. So see seven times. Okay, four come three times and five comes four times. If I ask you which number repeat the most, so naturally three repeats the maximum time. So I can say directly answer is three because three has a seven mode. I think maximum repeating, clear. So let's talk about the last part and last part. What is the median now? How to find median? So let's say find median now. So median technique is what? You know N. N is what? If you add them all, sorry, add the frequency all, you get a 14. So N is 14. And I just said the formula. Formula is N plus 1 divided by 2. When you put 14 here, 14 plus 1 divided by 2. And I got a uh, 7.5.
And 7.5 is where is a very, very clear 7 term and 8 term. In the middle of them is called 7.5. So can I write one sentence here? So 7th term and 8th term are middle terms. Middle terms. Very, very clear. So 7th term. Now this is a little tricky for you, okay? So I just, that is why, you know, I wrote these kind of things. Come back, please. All of you be focused. Uh, seven term and eight term. So can I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? This is a seventh, uh, seventh term, seventh term. And this is called eighth term. So if I ask, what is the answer then? So not a hard job, three plus four divided by two, I got seven by two, so 3.5 is my answer. Okay, you can ask, so we have to do always like this? No, no, no need to do always. Actually, look the way. Uh, if we don't do like this way, we have a short way. Uh, what is three term? Seven times. And what is here? Seventh position is mine. It means last three, last three number is on the seventh spot, seventh place. So look here. Can I say the last three on seventh place? Correct. And then, uh, and the eighth term is what? The first four. The first four is because three comes seven times. Three, 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 three. So last three is on the seventh place. So you can check it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So naturally then four starts. So this means first, last three, and first four. If we have, we have a seven and two, okay? So I got answer, Alhamdulillah, 3.5 square. Stop.